Hey everybody, good evening, Steve from Open Bomb. And in August 2024, uh, Open Bomb released support for bomb types, what we call X bombs, in our bomb compare utility. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use that in your in your daily work. So for context, I'm going to kind of give you a little context of the example I'll be talking us through. We're going to be focusing on this tailstock uh, assembly at the end of this uh, transaxle. Of course, it doesn't matter which CAD system we're using here. Um, but uh, I built an engineering bill of materials uh, using a CAD integration. I also have a manufacturing bill of materials as well, which we're going to take a look at in just a moment. But let's start with the engineering bomb first. So as I mentioned, I, I uh, use one of our integrations to build this uh, bill of material. And it also may have other, other non-modeled parts in it, like hardware and other things. But it fits kind of the engineering bomb scenario. You can see here I've got a uh, kind of a back plate. I have a subassembly that represents the other kind of matching half that has you know bits and pieces and bearings and other things. And then uh, notably, uh, uh, what the bearing here is modeled as an assembly. Now, in this case, maybe the engineer needed to specify some certain materials for some of the subparts, or possibly they just imported a, um, a, an assembly or a bearing. CAD model from somewhere and it ended up as, a, as an assembly. And we it happens and we've all seen that. So um, the engineering bomb, it structured very much like it comes out of CAD uh, to a backing plate, a sub-assembly and, and a bearing. So we're going to manufacturing on this. I also built a manufacturing bomb for the same item. So let's take a look at what that might look like. Might look like. Manufacturing bomb uh, is very similar at, at first glance, but we notice first of all that the bearing is a single item; it's not a, a subassembly, and because we're going to buy that as a single line item, and then it's also the quantity here is two. You know, maybe we need a spare for assembly. Maybe these are sometimes damaged in assembly. Um, an extra one is needed you know, on the manufacturing floor, so the quantity here is different. The um, the subassembly, the SCA 6000, is also a little different. There's some grease. Uh, Loctite is also included in the manufacturing bomb for the SA 6000. So that manufacturing bomb is, is uh, shown in this structure here. And then finally, I've got the same backing plate. It's a part just like it was in the other one. So there's a few differences here to notice. So keep those kind of in your head as we as we move on. So. I've opened up both of these bombs in the bomb compare utility, and uh, we're going to take a look at what that what that means. I've got the bomb on the left of the 1000 and the M bomb here on the right. Again, first glance, we see we've got the same components. I've got the backing plate. I've got the 6000 sub assembly and I've got the bearing. So but let's dive a little bit. Uh, let's dive a little bit deeper and investigate a little bit further. So I'm going to use the flattened compare, kind of highlight some differences down in the bomb structure. And the first thing I notice, kind of as I as I browse around here, is that the uh, the Loctite and the glue are in the manufacturing bomb, not in the engineering bombs as we expected. And also for the bearing, the bits and pieces inside the bearing are also not represented in the manufacturing bomb. So, you know, finally, again, a little deeper dive, we see that that bearing, the engineering bob has a quantity of one, the manufacturing side, the quantity is two. So, um, so the purpose of this video is to demonstrate that for many bomb types or multiple bomb types, you can use the, uh, the open bomb compare utility to highlight the differences at the top level as well as drill down uh, through the structure. So I hope you found this useful. There's no, always new improvements coming on this topic. I'd love to hear from you at support at openbomb.com. Thanks.